So, guys and gals, it's me, crazy for the 80s gal. I just saw a link that was sent to me, um, and it has to deal with Celine Dion. It made me want to cry because Celine Dion, to me, is a one of the best vocalist that I can think of. She's been singing since a very young age. Of course, mm -hmm. those of you who don't know Celine Dion, uh, she did the soundtrack for Titanic. Um, she married her manager at a very young age. He passed away recently. It was very heartbreaking. She, um, to me, ever since his death, like most spouses, unfortunately, when one spouse passes away, the other spouse is so heartbroken that sometimes their health declines. So I looked into this link and it was backdated a little bit ago. Uh, Celine Dion has a disease that affects one out of about a million people. It's hard for her to move and it's hard for her to sing. She can't use her vocal cords anymore. So she's had to cancel her tour dates. Um, I kind of knew something was wrong because a lot of people have been talking about how braille she's looked and how much weight that she's lost. And she basically said it in a very emotional video about what she's been going through and what her children have been going through. To me, she's a very strong woman who has gave her 100% as she says in the video, a very emotional video, she has gave her 100% that she loves her fans and that she misses being on stage. I know that she had a residency in Las Vegas for a really long time. <laughs> My dream would be to have seen her while she was in Vegas. Um, she's led a pretty lavish lifestyle um, with her wedding with her husband um, and then I think they renewed their vows and wow it was so amazing to watch if you ever watched that video um, it was very sad uh, the way her husband passed away but um, I want to focus on my prayers going out to her um, that hopefully she recovers. She says that she has a team of doctors that are working with her and that her therapist is working with her to hopefully someday come back and perform for all of us. But she never really has ever talked about herself personally. Um, like gave an open interview that was so emotional to me at least um, about her life and the disease itself and how it's affected her emotionally, physically, mentally. Uh, she like broke down several times and I wanted to cry because I had watched a video one time with her and Mariah Carey and Mariah Carey can hit some pretty, pretty high pitched notes as you all know, but Celine's voice was just so amazing. She did let Mariah Carey kinda show her strong vocals, but 
don't let it fool you because Celine Dion can sing her behind off. Just look at any Celine Dion video. You don't have to do the one for Titanic. Use any one of our videos. Um, there are several videos that I watched with her singing that absolutely blew my mind. So it's very disheartening to see that she has to perhaps give up her singing career and never be able to perform on stage again. And that would be like, you know, um, one of those um, bucket lists or if I was a terminally ill person and they asked me what your one wish would be, um, there are several that I can think of, like meeting Jean-Claude Van Damme. That'd be like my number one. Um, having Celine Dion sing My Heart Will Go On from the Titanic movie. Um, meeting Jason Momoa. <laughs> um... watching some of my favorite singers sing but Celine Dion would be way up there on the top of my list you know she's from Canada and like I said she's been singing her whole life so just think of a singer who has been around for decades not being able to sing again like she's had vocal cord injuries before I watched a documentary of them going down her throat and looking at her vocal cords and I believe she had to have vocal cord surgery Adele has had vocal cord surgery uh, they thought that she would never sing again but look at her um, I know I use I'm um, a lot I'm sorry it's my mind thinking you know, you can see the smoke coming out of my ears when my mind thinks. <laughs> um, it's the oil churning. Uh, but I was very, very sad to hear this news about Celine. She's um, an amazing woman, an amazing mother, was an amazing wife. She has... An amazing, oh my God, simply, I didn't know she was as comedic as she is, but she's very funny. I watched a lot of like bloopers before where she did silly things. So she's quite a comedian as well. And you know Ariana Grande can do a really good uh, impression of Celine Dion. But my prayers are with Celine, and hopefully one day she'll see my video or maybe many videos that people have posted. But my prayers are with her and my blessings and a speedy recovery to maybe where they could. I know it's a one in a million shot because, like she said, one out of a million people are affected by it. But maybe she's one out of the million that could be the disease. And perhaps one day I could see her live in concert. I'd love to see Adele too. Don't get me wrong. Um, but she's from an era that she started out, I think, when she was like 15 is when her husband became her manager and a lot of people ridiculed her for having such an older husband that he was like I want to say 40 some odd years older than her doesn't matter how old you are not to me it matters what's dear to your heart and she fell in love with him and he fell in love with her and they were married and they were married for many years, and um, 
It's not always about the age that counts. It's about what you feel in your heart. And they had a real true love. And I believe she has two children by him. And they adore their mother. But who doesn't adore their mother? Well, some people don't. But she's been a great mother. Like I said, a great wife. An amazing female artist. Um, there's not a time that I haven't watched Titanic. And when the actor and the actress who's in Titanic, which you guys all know the actor, Leonardo DiCaprio... And the actress you may not know, can't think of her name right now. I want to say Kate Blanchett, not for sure. But when they're standing on the end of the ship together and they have their arms spread apart and they start playing um, My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion, I ball. I don't know, does everybody else ball? I do. Um, because it's such a powerful song. I know she was on Oprah a couple times, Celine was, and she said she really didn't like singing the song anymore. I guess probably because she performed it so many times for so many people, but it meant a lot to a lot of people, so I think that's why they enjoyed her singing that song, but she does have other amazing songs. Google Celine Dion songs. Um, there's one other favorite. I can't think of the name of it. But I cry when I hear that song as well. Um, let me think. When you were we. Um, I'm thinking of the words to the song. You were my strength when I was weak. You were my eyes when I couldn't see. Um, because you loved me. That's the name of the song. Because you loved me. Listen to the lyrics of Because You Loved Me. Very powerful. But again, my prayers and thoughts are with you, Celine. And I don't know, as just a simple fan who's at work, who just happened to get a link and watched the link. I'll probably provide the link or provide the video in this video so then you guys can watch her emotional um, video of her stating about her illness. But until next time, you guys, I just wanted to give you this little bit of a video to let you know that my heart goes out to Celine and her family. And my heart will go on. I would hate to lose her. So let's hope and pray that the doctors can find some miraculous cure. So she can go on stage and sing again. Until next time you guys. Let's pray for Celine. Hello everyone. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to reach out to you. I miss you all so much. And I can't wait to be on stage talking to you in person. As you know, I've always been an open book. And I wasn't ready to say anything before. But I'm ready now. I've been dealing with problems with my health for a long time. And it's been really difficult for me to face these challenges and to talk about everything that I've been going through. Recently, I've been diagnosed with a very rare neurological disorder called the stiff person syndrome. 
which affects something like one in a million people. While we're still learning about this rare condition, we now know this is what's been causing all of the spasms that I've been having. Unfortunately, these spasms affect every aspect of my daily life, sometimes causing difficulties when I walk and not allowing me to use my vocal cords to sing the way I'm used to. It hurts me to tell you today that this means I won't be ready to restart my tour in Europe in February. I have a great team of doctors working alongside me to help me get better. And my precious children who are supporting me and giving me hope. I'm working hard with my sport medicine therapist every day to build back my strength and my ability to perform again. But I have to admit, it's been a struggle. All I know is singing. It's what I've done all my life. And it's what I love to do the most. I miss you so much. I miss seeing all of you being on the stage, performing for you. I always give 100% when I do my shows but my condition is not allowing me to give you that right now. For me to reach you again, I have no choice but to concentrate on my health at this moment. And I have hope that I'm on the road to recovery. This is my focus and I'm doing everything that I can to recuperate. I want to thank you so much for your encouraging wishes of love and support on my social media. This means a lot to me. Take care of yourselves. Be well. I love you guys so much. And I really hope I can see you again real soon. <laughs>